Okay guys, welcome to this video. This video is on how to test uh, an oxygen sensor or an O2 sensor, okay, using a multimeter. Uh, first test we're gonna do is carry out a resistance check on the sensor, and then we're gonna check the sensor for voltage. To get the voltage of the sensor, we need to heat it up. So it's very important that, um, that you're wearing your proper PPE, your spectacles and goggles. So when you're testing for resistance, we disconnect the sensor off the vehicle, put it in the face and secure it, inspect it for any damage, set your multimeter to ohms, select the two wires that are the same color, usually them two wires will be white, and then we'll test it for resistance. Should be in around um, seven or eight ohms I would suspect. Okay, then the second test on it is you need to set your multimeter to volts, We'll then do the other two wires, because most O2 sensors are uh, two wire, or four wire, sorry. So we test the other two wires, which we haven't tested. We heat the O2 sensor up using the gas burner, uh, and then we'll check the, the voltage increase. The voltage should increase, and that would indicate that the sensor's in good working order, okay? So that's a wee quick description of it there. We're now gonna head into the workshop, and um, we're gonna carry out the test. Okay, so now we're at our multimeter. This multimeter is an auto ranger, by the way. Um, so basically all I need to do is set this one to resistance. We're gonna do the resistance check first. Okay, you can see it's already coming up to 8.2 ohms of resistance. And we have got, see our two wires, white wires. We've got our multimeter connected in there. And this O2 sensor is sitting at 8.2 ohms of resistance. That actually isn't too bad, okay? So we're gonna do the next test. And to do the next test, we need to switch that around the voltage, which is here. Now, we'll have to switch these two over to our other two pins. Okay, and them other two pins are black and gray. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so we'll switch their multimeter probes over to the black and grey wire. Um, we're sort of sitting around 0 0.8 millivolts, but that's basically because uh, it needs calibrated again. So we've got a butane burner here, which we can switch on. And all we need to do is heat the sensor up gently. While we're heating the sensor up gently, and then watch the voltage. You can see that voltage increasing. Two millivolts. Nine millivolts. So you can see as it's getting hotter, the voltage is actually increasing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is turn the gas probe off, and this should start to decrease. There, you can see it already starting to decrease as our O2 sensor starts to cool down. So what does an O2 sensor do? Well, basically, it measures, measures the oxygen content before the cat and after the cat, and it just makes sure, makes sure that um, the Cadillac converter is doing the job properly. Okay, it's reducing the exhaust emissions. Um, watch out for another video where I'll explain that a wee bit more on exhaust emissions. Oxygen sensors can be pretty um, difficult to do. You need to make sure that the vehicle's pretty hot to get that sensor out of the car. But this is a simple test uh, to show what sort of condition the, the sensor is in. Most vehicles will have um, two sensors, pre-cat and post-cat. Uh, this one here was a pre-cat, which basically means before the cat. Okay, and it was faulty. And what it was doing was, it was telling the ECU uh, the wrong readings, that there was too much oxygen. So the, the ECU was giving a wee bit extra more fuel, making the vehicle run rich. So it started to slightly misfire. 
Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, any questions, pop them through. Look out for the other video. And I'll speak to you soon again. Thanks.